All right, Rippers, here's another handy thing that you should have in your gear setup, right? It's not expensive, uh, but it is something that will help keep you organized, and that way you don't forget things when you go to range to do your practice. Uh, when you have to grab something in a hurry to go, like if you're just getting out and bugging, right? That kind of thing. And that is a good range bag, right? Something that holds just a certain amount of ammo, like maybe 200, 300 rounds of ammo in the bottom, uh, as well as all the kind of gear and stuff that you would need at the range when you're going out for a good day. So to start with, this was one right here. This is the one I like right here. This is, and I'm, and I'm thinking about people being affordable, right? This is something you can get at the Army Surplus store, runs somewhere between seven to nine dollars, I think, right around there. I haven't checked prices lately, but that's about what it should be. Um, it has, you know, as you can see, it's got a nice carry strap on it to sling around your shoulders, as well as just the hand straps to grab it. And I got this big old hook on there. And you can ask, what's that big old hook for? Well, you hook that in one of your belt loops off of your back belt loop on the back of your pants. And I'll show you why here in a minute. But that's just a big old cheap padded loop that you can get anywhere. Uh, Harbor Freight, something like that, right? And that's going to be used here in a little bit. Now, first off, we'll always check, make sure we're unloaded. No magazine, right? This is my uh, little ladies uh, go out and have fun. She's competed once or twice, but go out and have fun uh, pistol right here. It's a Glock 34 long slide with ported barrel. It's had some other little things I've done to it, right? It's got a racker on the back. Uh, got a light laser combo on the front. Really, really, really a great little pistol really accurate really fun to shoot very low recoil with all these ports on the top telling you what good fun right there long slides look for them if you can anyway so it holds that in the side sleeves it can carry as much as two pistols in each side sleeve right and then in these outside pockets here you can carry magazines uh tool kits cleaning kits uh things like that that you would keep in there and uh uh you can also carry, uh, you know, gloves in here, that kind of stuff. Uh, I carry, of course, my, what is it called again? My Up Lula Speed Loaders. Sportsman's uh, Warehouse carries these. You can find them on the internet too. Up, U-P-L-U-L-A. Uh, loader loads all the way from 9mm to 45. Remember I told you that? Anyway, and you can keep your magazines in here. So this will hold as probably as many as 246 maybe eight or ten magazines there's a magazines for her right there all right and then on the other side too you can keep like your ar mags in there the pockets are big enough to carry a doubler in there right on that side and then a single 30 on this one and then don't forget you got your stripper loader right and then on the inside it's got enough room here for and it doesn't weigh a lot this bag either you can carry your doubled up 20s if you want in there, as well as your belt and gear on your belt, right? You got here, you got your 223. This is an AR-15 magazine made by Fab Defense, F-A-B, right? And this can just, this is, I like this. This is a quick paddle one. Say, you know, you hear a bump in the night, you can have just a single mag loaded into this, right? Like that, and you can just take that, slip it right into the, your waistline, you know, on your pants or a belt real quick and it clips in nice and well, uh, carries your mag. You don't even have to have a belt really if you didn't want to, but a belt does help. Um, so I carry that in there. Of course, I carry my ear pros in here. These are just a cheap pair of Caldwells, but they do tend to work. So I go with them. Now, that's what that clip is for. When you hang this off the back belt loop of your pants, because when you're out competing and stuff, a lot of times you have to take off your uh, uh, hearing protection in order to talk to the ROs as they go through your, your score with you. With these, they're mechanical, so we don't have to do that as much. But before we had the mechanicals, we had these clips because you just clip it. That way you don't have to carry around your, your uh, ear pros and you can just have them hanging on the back, right? So, and you can hear, uh, hang other things off of it as well. So anyway, in here we carry our belt set up. All right, and this is her little belt setup because she's just getting started. Just has a simple Kydex holster on it, a nice Velcro belt so she can have a Velcro underliner. That way, the first belt she puts on is Velcro with one side of the Velcro on it, and then all, that's this right here. 
So she puts this on around her waist, and then all you have to do with this is it sticks to it and it keeps it nice and firm and, and connected so that it doesn't slip around, clips it, ready to go. And then if she has to go to the bathroom, she can just take this off, real simple like that, right? Set it down on the table, go to the restroom. She still has her Velcro belt on. She sticks this, boom, clips it back in. That's the style I like. Also, she's got her magazine holders right here, right? So if she's doing a, a course of fire, she can put in four mags and have one in the in the handgun uh, ready to go, right? So she keeps all that in there all rolled up. Let's see what else she got in here. Oh yeah, she got her Ruger uh, multicolored uh, safety glasses, right? They got other lenses in here as well, so she can change it out for the weather. Nice pouch, just put it in here. Now you could also keep this in the, one of the side pouches as well. Right there, like that. Well, actually get it slide, there's stuff in these, but get her to slide down in there. Like that, right? Also, a bunch of earplugs, just in case you don't want to shoot with the ear earmuffs on, right? Or you want more protection, you can wear the earplugs. And of course, you gotta have your tissues for when you cry, because you did so bad on a stage of fire. And it doesn't hurt to have a rag in there as well. Now, the, my cleaning kit's not in here, but it usually is. And then all along the bottom, we've got just these set right on the bottom in a row, is your ammo. And then what else has she got in here? Oh yeah, that's our la one of our one of our last matches that she didn't throw away the stuff from. Looks like uh, Oregon USPSA 2013 COSA Range and Band. Yep, that was a good course of fire. See, they give you one of these at each one that tells you your course of fire so you can kind of think through it in your head before you get to shooting. Yep, good fun. I, if you have a club in your area, I'd say search it out take a look, you know, and uh, get involved. I tell you what, this is some of the best practice you can get. Oh, and she's got a hair scrunchie in here because you got to have that, right? And that looks like everything. So you can actually fit a whole lot of stuff in here and figure out what you need uh, and that. And you can decorate it too. She got her front sight pin from taking some of her classes or her advanced classes in front sight. So yeah, it's a good thing to have. Have a range bag. Get it organized. The only thing I'd say that should have been in this was the little cleaning kit uh, and maybe with a few tools. You know, you can get one of those ones that's in a nice little kit that has tools and a cleaning stuff uh, and a little bit of uh, solvent and oil in there too. And you're set. You're ready for a day on the range, right? All you need is a friend and some ammo. That's right. So till next time, be safe, be secure. Always be aware of your surroundings. And if you have it, wear it. And if you're wearing it, go out and practice with it. Get yourself a range bag. Fill it up with these things so that you can go just like this. That way there's no excuses. I want to go to the range. Okay, boom. 30 minutes and you're there. 10 minutes and you're there. However close your range is, that way you can just grab it and you don't forget anything and ruin a great range day. And uh, well, always be getting ready and prepared for anything that may come your way. So until next time, you know, like I say, adios.